Good evening. My name is Rod Neely, and I'd just like to tell you today of one of the many reasons of why I oppose the busing of immigration to large metropolitan areas. Because one of the main effects of immigration is that it always causes overcrowding, congestion, and it puts extra pressure on our public services. This is one of the main reasons I oppose the governors of Texas, Florida, and Arizona of busing immigrants to Chicago, New York City, DC, and Martha's Vineyard. Secondly, it's clearly a political chess move being used by politicians to draw attention to this country's immigration woes. And because of this, migrants are not being treated humanely, nor given the dignity that they deserve. You have cases where migrants are not being, getting their possessions back after, after being released, their personal, personal belongings are being kept, where one individual didn't get his insulin and another migrant, whereas a documented case didn't get the medical attention that he so needed, badly needed. And another reason that I oppose immigration is that it, re it redistributes the wealth from, uh, from those who have to compete with migrants to those who use migrants. And there's also the language and cultural barrier can exist and migrants can easily be exploited and may experience racism. And there are often gender imbalances as it is, as it is often males who, who takes most of the jobs. And so, and so another reason I oppose the busted of migrants is what it does to the separation of families. That a, lot, that a, a, a large part of these metropolitan areas, they don't have the housing to provide for these migrants and, and the traumatic experience that it does to the, to the kids of seeing their parents being separated and the, to best understand its impact, one must first recognize the trauma that is already experienced at the border. So even if the child and parent are reunited, the effects of being separated from their parents is long lasting. So I oppose this policy of busing migrants and believe we should try to find better solutions than political tactics to make a better America and world for all of us.